Hey, hey guys, I promised you a tour of this place. Okay, so uh, come inside. Here is our lovely little stained glass window in the uh, post box at Mr. Scott Bright. We're hoping this is coming out and we're going to move the door from here um, because um, it seemed like a good idea, but it actually blocks this beautiful window, which we are actually going to restore. It has... Um, it's lovely deep here window frame which I'm gonna fill full of flowers and then I'm probably gonna change the color of the ratter to maybe um, a gray or possibly even a white don't know yet we'll see what we do with the outside of the house so this is part of this would be like an entrance hall these are the, the wonderful Valenciana media luna beams so they're half moons, I don't know if you can see at the ends where they go like that. Um, this is my carbuncle wall, it's just hideous. Even Mr. Scott's now in agreement that this is going. So we've got lots of drawings on the wall as to how far it can come back. Builders have been in smashing it, so I don't know if you guys can see, but the beams go all the way back inside. Maybe you can't see. So uh, yeah, we're going to take away as much as we can. Look at this. These tiles are put on the walls because you get a lot of damp in these houses. Well, not a lot, but if left uh, unlooked after, then they develop damp through the walls. Um, so they put this stuff on basically to hide it and stop it. Um, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is what we've done today. Uh, brought out the Vegas, which hold the house up. Uh, we found these underneath, media lunas, which do have some woodworm in them. Um, but we plan to take the fake ceiling off um, and then restore them. So this is all going. And under there is now a little mouse because when we took this off, a mouse fell out the ceiling. So that's just yummy. Um, our fireplace. We don't know if we're going to keep this yet take it back a bit um or what we're going to do but if we whatever we do we're not going to obviously have fires in here we're going to put in um like a log burner or something here's the other carbuncle that i absolutely hate and i think scott's finally come around um yeah it blocks the light and you guys can see from the end so we're hoping that this is all going to come out and this little tiny cupboard the naughty the naughty child cupboard is going to come away so here is our downstairs bathroom which i actually really love the tiles don't need much work in here just need to put in a shower shower curtain fix up the door and we're good to go this is the area where i would really like to put the map of the world and all the different pictures of places we've been this side, I would really like to put in big bookcases or cupboards and put all our sensory memorabilia and stuff. So coming back with the beautiful staircase with the light wells in and another naughty girl cupboard. And then our kitchen, which as you can see, there is no kitchen, but lots of room for American style fridge freezer and, um, Lots of room to play with and make this, you know, a really nice kitchen. So I'm thinking in this space here and there, we're going American style kitchen diner something. So can you see what I mean about that archway down there? Look how dark it is. So that is all going to be gone. Really opening up the whole of the property and just bringing like that traditional look at the front of the house and then maybe a little bit more modern as you come through. So I'll take you guys upstairs and come and have a nosy up here. See, we've got this kind of New York loft style fun going on here with the blocks. Same here, original windows again. Actually, those windows are in incredibly good condition might have to move those from where they are to the one of the others um so this is our guest room or it will be we're currently uh deciding what to do with it then oop see a wonderful hallway look at this how long is this 
It's got all these amazing little alcoves, so here's a storage cupboard. Here's our fairy door, I just love, <laughs> which includes a light. Very, very crazy. So that is the fairy cupboard I've got to make for. Here's the bathroom. <sighs> yes. Some of it is brilliant. I, these tiles wouldn't be uh, my personal choice, but what we're thinking of is to do a quick refurb. We're gonna change the tiles of the bath. We're gonna go for pure white. And then gonna try and find this style of granite to go around the top and we're going to take these blocks out and in, um, probably put um, a frosted clear and in just doing that I think we can really create quite a nice space and then of course um, really lovely kind of shower stroke bath fixtures. Here is where the washing machines traditionally go in the bathrooms in Spanish homes or up on the terrace so we're going to put that in with storage. I love these it's like um, Look, they've had candles in them. So they'd have got that and restored that. And even though we sell wick free candles, you never know. It was these lovely, interesting holes. So this is your traditional middle bedroom, which is a dark cave with no light. Great wardrobe when that's all boarded out. And this would be uh, Baby Thea's room. Um, yeah, I can see it all painted pretty. Um, up this side, put her in, you know, like really cool bunk beds or something. I love the little details. Look at this little wood all, all over. Traditional Valenciana doors, which she's brought in. The doorways are super thin. You don't know it's still here. Um, so the doors need replacing. This is the master bedroom. I know it's super small, but the, the bedrooms just aren't big here. People don't live in the bedroom. Um, so we're going to have this made in, we're going to have extra storage put in on this side and then a big wardrobe. And then, there you go, there's my beautiful blue skies. So very pretty. My next door neighbour. Hello, next door neighbour. Um, the windows, which again, I'm going to uh, restore. Probably going to have new shutters because those could not be the original ones they are. They are not nice, so probably, wood is very expensive here. So going to spend the money um, replacing that. Yeah. So an awful lot of work was done. This place is fully tiled. It's all electrics are brand new. Um, a lot of love and attention was given to this. We've just restored this bit here, look. This is the light wells above. Scott just found the glass to put them all back in. So ignore the cat poo cemetery as we call it. This is, yeah, we should really sweep this up. I've had the house for a whole, what, three days? Um, steps. Now this is what really sold it to me. Here is Mr. Scott busy working away, aren't you? Yep. Here's the fireplace, which if we take the fire out downstairs and make an absolutely cracking barbecue pit if we can chip through. It's actually really cool. So here you go, here is the view. Um, up to the mountains and then over to the two boot mountain over there and if you come here oh wow that's a way better sea view look yeah, it's a oh my goodness like, like, like Ooh, look at the sea view say, we have up here some of the most incredible views but one real big eyesore I want to show you this eyesore right now is it your dirty bottom you have dirty body okay this is like, we, we need to sell this house right now. Really? Yeah. See our little light wells in the floor? Quite cute, aren't they? One of them's cracked. I need to replace that. We have the neighbor's makers right in front of us. <laughs> You're not allowed to say that. They're very big. Oh, stop. Scott, you're too yeah, terrible. Give me the camera. Look, here's the mulling. Here's the old windmills over here. And then there is your sea view again. Isn't it amazing how they say, oh, and I've got to show you this. Mongo! Here's the Mongo Mountain where we use, where we currently live down here on the front of the Mongo. Um, so any house that has a view of this is just a brilliant house to have. Oh, oh, and this is our back terror uh, with our second chimney, which um, clearly because they dry their pants here, we can't put the barbecue here. Um, but here I was envisaging putting 
a large gazebo probably facing this way because underpants isn't really what I want to be looking at so probably building this up here facing it out this way and to the mongo and possibly increasing the height because I think we need to be about three foot up to see the, well, the view there's also a possibility to isn't it gorgeous totally extend all this here make it a three story yes um that will and be then with a, the terrace on the top of that terrace on that so we can make it into a six bedroom house if we if we really desperate if it adds good value to the property yeah now i have seen houses which are six bedrooms and it has an extra hundred thousand on top of the value so you never know he might go crazy and decide that that's what we're doing but yeah so that's it guys uh we really hope you like the tour of our uh, little shack we've bought it to do up we've bought it because we wanted to get on the property ladder here in Spain and we bought it as a bit of a project as well but we, we were struggling last week to decide weren't we would we live in it which I wanted to do or would no way. we do Jesus, it up and no sell way. it no way are we still not agreeing no way well I'm moving in I don't know where Scott's living Thea and I oh, we'll move him for 12 months but we also yeah. have other projects around the corner too which we're looking at so. and we're just gonna learn some new skills and have some fun yeah we're we've, definitely not today's staying skill, this is temporary today's skill that we learned was how to smash out um roofs wasn't well, it for a hundred year old sorry oh, this 100 is a hundred year old years townhouse old. this is great this terrace because you yeah. know with a with a house that old you expect a lot of leaks but because of this great terrace and the way it's tiled yeah. there's no leaks in the house yeah it poured down last night and our house is the one thing we can say is it's watertight yeah, so if it was a ship it would be brilliant ages. so there you go that's it that is us that is the new house we hope you really really like it and um that's scott's dirty bottom oh should i zoom in you have got a dirty bomb.